Yeah. Hey, it's me again, the Rockstars TV. I'm with Chris from Domin. Say hi. Hello. No, you didn't really have to say hello. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so, you guys are on tour with 69 Nights. We're at Reggie's Rock House in Chicago. Chicago, good old Chicago. You want money for everything, parking, whatnot. It's pretty crappy. Sounds like LA. Does it really? Yeah. At least all the, the leaves are uh, you know, nice in LA and it's sunny. Um, it's a pop and stuff. Yeah, but, but who likes know, the sun? I try to stay away from LA as much as possible. Really? I try to stay away from Chicago as much as possible. I understand. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not a really big fan of the sun. I gotta go to LA. It's nice. It's just, you know, if you, stay, if you go into the city, you're gonna deal with traffic. Too many people. Yeah. Too many 20, jerks. 20 other parking. Uh, a lot of jerks in LA too. Like, uh, I don't know. It just depends where you go. I guess there's, there's jerks in there's there's a lot of where jerks. you go. Yeah, there are a lot of jerks in Chicago. Yeah. Defend all your own. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. So, tell us about your new album. When does it come out? February 2nd, finally. Um, and yeah, we're looking forward to it. February 1st, overseas in Europe. And uh, it's just, uh, it's called Love Is Gone. It's full of uh, very heartbreaking, painful songs. Yeah, I've I heard I heard it and I was like I could uh, almost identify with most of the songs. I was like, oh wow, I, I like that. Yeah, you I know? think you know I think these are things that most people go through, and that's why people can relate. Yeah, yeah. yeah I was just you know, I was like, wow, this, uh, you know, this guy's got a broken heart. Just like me, I want to give you a hug. We all, you, know? <laughs> you can give me a hug after the interview. Oh, after after, after the interview, after the interview. <laughs> when the camera's off and uh, whatever happens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Behind closed doors. Behind closed doors. Yeah, you don't want to have to censor anything. It's just, uh, you know, like a TV. Right. Yeah, so you mentioned to me your album was being pushed back by Roadrunner. It's, well, it's not just Roadrunner, it's, our, it's us too, it's our management. Um, the songs and the album's been done probably since December of 08. Mm -hmm. And there were several release dates, but it was just a matter of, uh, I think, if someone listens to the record, they're going to hear a lot of different stuff. Some stuff that sounds real kind of epic goth, some stuff that sounds, people would say 80s or electronic or whatever it is. And I think it's kind of been an obstacle a little bit for people who think in terms of markets and target demographics and things like that because they're trying to figure out what to do with it. And, uh, you know, for me, who just writes the songs, I don't really think about that kind of stuff. I'm just making music, you know. Yeah. So, um, you know, so I think it's been a little bit of a challenge, and it's you know they've been like, oh, we need a little bit more time. Oh, let's figure it out. But, and it's been good, you know, because you know in that in the course of that time we've changed our logo, we've changed the album cover, a song's been added, you know. So yeah, it's all for the best. Right, exactly. Yeah. It's mutually beneficial, I think, for everybody. And you've uh, been on tour all year. All year, pretty much. Your fifth tour. Fifth tour. Um, gone out with Comedy Christ and Blacklight Burns. It was the Wednesday 13 tour, then we went out with our friends in the Birthday Massacre and I Am Ghost. Uh, following that tour was an amazing tour with Luna Coyle, Kayla Hanna, and Seventh Void. And now we're out with uh, Six and Nine Eyes. And, uh, How's it been? It's been It's been awesome. It's good. The crowd's been very uh, accepting. Yeah. You know, so far, all the tours we've done this year, everyone's been pretty open to what we're doing. So. That's Yeah. <laughs> so he came in right on cue. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, I guess we're going to wrap this up because I'm going to hug you. And okay. Stuff. I and understand. God knows what else I'm going to do to Chris, but I'm not going to see anything. And just, you, just, you know, keep it outside the underwear. Okay. <laughs> outside the underwear? Just outside meaning, the underwear. Stuff. Not inside. No, it's not outside. Just okay, I can do that. Yeah. Like, I can try. But I'm not gonna promise you. Keep things clean. I'll try to keep it G rated? Or no, wait, PG 13? Yeah, PG-13. Alright, PG-13 sounds good. Alright, I can deal with that. Well, uh, later, I'm gonna be interviewing 69 Eyes, so stay tuned. See ya.